How's it going guys? My name is Sam and this is my very first ever Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay commentary that I'm bringing for you guys today. First and foremost, I'd just like to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video, which I put a lot of time and effort into for your, your viewing pleasure. I'd just like to introduce myself. My name is Sam, as I said before. I'm 17 years old. I live in Australia. And like I said before, this is my first ever commentary, so if I do sound a bit nervous or if I'm stuttering a bit, that is why. The gameplay you're watching today is a Demolition on Summit. Uh, while it may seem slow at the start, um, I'll guarantee you that the second round is much more interesting than the first. And it's pretty good gameplay by my standards. I hope it's good gameplay by, by your standards. And I did choose this gameplay though because it best depicts how I play, which is uh, fast paced action, getting into the enemy team's spawn, like I am right now, causing a nuisance, and uh, but also playing tactical and uh, going for the win and uh, helping helping plant and defuse bombs, which are. I'll say I didn't do much of that in this game, but that's what I normally do. Um, I'll just give a bit of history of my uh, YouTube experience. Uh, yeah, in Modern Warfare 2, I wasn't much of a good player. Uh, I'll be the first to say that. And uh, I started searching YouTube videos on how to become a better player, and found ex videos like X Jaws and Cena's, and they greatly in helped me improve my game and how to be a better player and all that and I think YouTube is a great great place for people for any not just for Call of Duty but for anyone to learn something or improve something and yeah and that's what I hope to do in my videos is help help people improve and help people maybe help people have a bit of good time as well and if I make someone if I help someone learn something in my videos or make someone laugh I feel like I've done my job and um as most people will know, starting in YouTube isn't the easiest of things. Uh, you see all those big YouTubers up there, like X Jaws and C Namers, who you strive to be like, who are all their hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And I know it isn't easy, um, and I'm, I know it would be tough to get as big as them. They've gone through a lot. They've put a lot of quality into their their videos, and um, and that's what I hope to do in my videos. Uh, is put the best best quality content out to my uh, viewers. Right now I'm on my, I'm on my about uh, 40th take on the commentary. I keep keep stuffing up and I'm a bit of a perfectionist myself so I like to get this right but I do know there are this will never be my uh, best commentary. Um, but I was thinking about how players, well not players, uh, commentators and their channels get big and uh, I realised that um, it's all through networking which someone explained to me and who you know and who you talk to and who you do a dual con with, who you get a recommendation with, which is most of the people I'm subscribed to is through a recommendation or they did a dual con with someone and like someone from how I cup it, how they all play together and I see one of them playing, see someone playing with someone and I sub to them and they do a dual con with someone and I go sub to that person and uh, so that's how I, yeah, that's how I see people and that's what I want to do is build a good network of friends in the YouTube community because gaming in Australia, as some of you may know if you're from Australia, is the difference from say to maybe Britain or uh, the USA is much different. The biggest thing we have to a LAN event is me taking my PS3 over to a mate's house and playing that. We have nothing like MLG or even nothing like E3. It's all just, uh, I guess, we're such a we're a much smaller country and they are the both England and Britain, but you know, it's, I, I wish that Australia had stuff like E3 and MLG because I love all that. And maybe one day I'll be able to get over to LA or get into Britain. But just a bit of history on on uh, my gaming. I've got my PS2 back in the old days, and uh, then I got my PS3 uh, a couple of years ago, and got my first Call of Duty, which is World at War. And uh, like a bit different to some other people because most people got their first COD was uh, COD 4, so I was a bit later than everyone else. And then Modern Warfare 2 came out, I got, uh, like I said before, I started watching videos, and now yeah, Black Ops is out, and the U whole YouTube community is just blown up. And yeah, it's just uh, it's quite in intriguing how now people have got a job, full time job, on, uh, on YouTube and that's not what I'm trying to start out, that's not what I'm trying to do is get a job or get paid or anything, I'm just doing this for fun, like uh, like it should be, it shouldn't just be, I mean for the people who was a job they have to 
make a revenue out of their videos and try it hard, but I'm just doing it for fun. And yeah, that's that's how I want to do it. And, um, as I see here, I go for my chopper gun a bit. This uh, my teammate gets there, gets there for me, and like a like a nice fellow, I uh, save his life from this guy coming down right here. Yeah, like I was saying before, just the just the whole game and how it's so much different, and uh, the time zones like like even on PS3, like there's not many people who are not many famous YouTubers I'll say besides maybe White Boy or uh, Roldinho who play on PS3, and it's uh, so it's very hard if I want to play with someone. I'll never I've never seen anyone very uh, very big on YouTube who I play with ever. And uh, so maybe I'll be the first first ever biggest uh, Australian commentator. But uh, the game's come to an end. I'd just like to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, could you give it a like, please? It would really help me out getting noticed. Uh, also, some constructive criticism. That would really help me maybe improve my commentating. But that's it. I'll catch you guys next time.